former gamers of Reddit, what was the reason you stopped playing video games altogether, or a lot less frequently? I stopped when I realized the ratio feeling of joy and accomplishment slash time investment of video game was far inferior to the one of my other hobbies. Mostly a lack of mental energy. I find it on my day off from work and chores and errands and etc. I don't want to do stuff that engages that much of my brain. I might just have to get into dumber games. I tend to enjoy the resource management slash puzzle slash open world type games that make you juggle a lot of info for crafting, and which way to proceed. Working and living in an area with only enough internet power to watch a YouTube video at 144p. I started drawing and couldn't spend 12 hours a day staring at my laptop anymore. It was too tiring. A baby. I still play a bit when I can. For me, there were two things. One, the communities I was a part of grew increasingly toxic, but gaming alone isn't as fun. Two, I found other hobbies that took more time. I still game. But I'm pickier about what I'll put my money into, and I'd find I'd rather visit old games than take a chance on some of the crap coming out. I discovered a love for hiking, and it's considerably better for my mental and physical health, and more of my free hours on weekends goes to that now, but I still typically find a few hours during the week to chill with the like, for people that I'm still pals with online to play games. The last time I played a video game was December. The reason was I realized I hated half the games I had, but more so I did a massive tidy out, and realized I could do better things with my time. That eventuated into just sleeping way more often. I recently quit CS, Geo, over 3000 hours, for the same reason I've quit other lifestyle games such as Overwatch, Rocket League, Rainbow Six Siege. They consume way too much of my free time. I would come in from work and can spend hours on end playing them without really anything to show for it. If I'd spent that much time doing something more productive like playing guitar then I'd at least be pretty good at guitar by the end of it. But being good at games is pretty unimpressive to most people and isn't really transferable out of the game. I still intend to play games, recently started Resident Evil 4, but with single player games there's no pressure to be locked into an ongoing match and I have more control over how much time I spend in it. Also, and in my opinion more importantly, I find these lifestyle kind of games have a negative effect on my mental state, whilst I've never resorted to the casual racism that's rampant in these environments, I have found myself at least partially falling victim to the quick to anger and blame everyone that isn't me mentality. For example in Overwatch, someone on the team always gets scapegoated for the entire team's failure, usually the DPS. I found that even out with games I had become more self-centered and had a shorter temper. So for those reasons I quit. I had quit before and came back, but after I came back I fell right back into the old mindset, so I think it's best that I just avoid them altogether. I run 4 different D&D games, including one written from scratch, so I put all my gaming time into D&D preparation time. They ate up way too much of my time. I still love gaming, but I realized that sitting in front of a PC all day every day was making me fat, unhealthy, and miss out on so many of the things I should have been doing both with responsibilities and also with life in general. I still jump in now and then for an hour or two occasionally, but the free time equals game time way of thinking had to come to an end and my life is better because of it. Having 800 other tasks to do a day. Backslash ash growing ups -U -K -S. Lost interest like many because of viral demands and wanting to do more with my time. Also got kinda creeped out by the whole gamer lifestyle that has continued to worsen. But the biggest thing that made me put down the controller was I felt like my entire life was anger. Listen to the news on the way to work, rage. Do my job, rage. Check social media, rage. 
news on the way home, somehow worse than the morning, rage. Play competitive video games into the night, rage. Everything was this constant anger cycle, and I had to make some pretty big changes all over my life to be happier. It, people who are giving me good reasons to quit playing games. I learned everything you do, is a sacrifice to something else. For example, if I played video games for 10 hours on a Sunday, that's get hours I could have used to accomplish or learn something. I like video games and still play them, but I don't want my greatest accomplishment in life 100% in a game. I love playing guitar, learning languages, and reading far more. As is tradition, thanks for the gold kind stranger. Competitive online matches only make me stressed and angry. Even a win is more relief than joy. I had to quit any sort of competitive matches entirely. It's never worth it for me. If you enjoyed the stories, slap the like and subscribe button for more of them. And don't forget to support the original writers with an upvote. Links are in the description. Peace out, and catch you tomorrow.